Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Quality Magnify India. Myself Deepak Kumar Saman. Welcome all of you once again to my channel. So hope my previous videos which I have uploaded, you are watching those and you are sharing with your friends and you are getting benefited from it. So those videos are really helpful for those who are in the working in the industries, okay? And uh, for the newcomers who are new to the industry to understand what is API, what is ASME, what is pressure vessels, how the piping works, what is welding, painting, piping, all these things. Beside to that, if somebody is already few years of experience and want to get some certification in API, they can choose API 570, 510 and 653 courses, which covers a wide variety of uh, uh, course and it can give you a uh, guarantee that without going to a coaching center or say, spending money, you can grab a certificate. And it happened. Uh, if you go to the comment, you can see lots of guys. They only by watching my videos they clear the API courses. So hopefully you will uh, support me uh, as you did in the past and in future also. And uh, whomsoever is new to my channel, uh, kindly subscribe to the channel so that. Uh, uh, we can grow our channel more and more. So today the topic is tie-in piping. What is tie-in piping? You need to understand. Tie-in is like uh, if there is an existing line and there is another one line going behind that and we need to connect both the lines, then we have to do tie-in. Okay. Tie-in usually considered a critical job, a critical work. If you want to do tie-in, then you have to isolate many things Okay, for the existing line then you have to connect the new piping with the existing piping and you have to maintain the integrity of the joint uh, and at the same time you have to make sure that the existing piping which life is already gone for a few years to the new line which is installed newly should match with each other okay the properties the class everything so tie-in is considered as a very critical thing and usually for tie-in a specialized team works on that sometimes we say tie-in is uh, in between the plant if there is an existing plant and the nearby plant is there and you need to connect both the plants okay let's say you have a, a plant where the slows is moving and that slows at the present moment you are disposing through procs but uh, in future there is a new plant came to your nearby to your plant and they are doing the slows treatment so you have to connect your slows piping to their plant uh, inlet piping so that it can save you a transport cost so for that you need to do a tie-in which uh, is a very important job to do okay and uh, for that you need to consider many things the elevation the tie-in uh, material requirements the tie-in joint design everything need to be reviewed and approved by the engineering sometimes what happen in inside the plant you have to do tie-in okay if you have uh, multiple products in the plant and you need to exchange the product with one part of the plant to the other part and uh, at the beginning of the stage it was not done and in later stage it was uh, advised to do a uh, transport of a product from one uh, part of the plant to the other part then you have to do a tie-in so let's start what is tie-in piping i will explain you in brief in tie-in there is a long and long discussions we can made and there is a a uh, lot of requirements for that but in this video we will just uh, go in brief okay to understand what is tie -in. so a tie-in piping refers to the process of connecting new piping to existing piping okay it is the definition if there is a new piping coming and there is existing piping and the process is same the temperature pressure uh, the process fluid all are same and there is expansion of that area so we have to do the tie-in of the existing uh, piping with a new piping. This can be done to extend the existing piping system, add branches to it or connect it to the other equipment. Tie-in can be prepared in a variety of ways depending on the type of piping and the condition in which it is located. Sometimes what happens during the process, there is some process changes happen. So for changing the process, need some modification for the existing line. So when this happens, we need to do additional times, okay? They often require careful planning and execution, as I told you, to ensure that they are done safely and effectively. This is very important. 
The philosophy behind tie-in is to connect new piping to the existing piping to ensure that new piping is properly connected and that the existing piping is not compromised in any way. That is very important because sometimes what happens when you cut the pipe, existing piping, you know, to do some connection, okay, either you install a valve, either you install a T or either you install a bypass, something like that. So you have to make sure the existing piping is not compromised in any way. The goal is to create a seamless integration between the new and existing piping so that the entire system functions as a cohesive unit. Additionally, the tie-in should be done in a way that is easy to maintain and repair and that minimizes the risk of leaks and other problems. Overall, the philosophy behind piping tie-in is to ensure that the new and existing piping work together seamlessly to support the overall function and operation of the system so this is the definition as i explained to you from the beginning this is simple to understand what does time mean and how it works so there is two types of time usually uh, we discuss there is two types one is plant tie-in points and skid tie-in points so plant tie-in points are used to plant interface between existing plant lines or other process lines coming from a neighboring plant okay as i explained earlier skid tie-in points are located inside the plant to establish interconnection connecting pipes between different skids and equipment present to the plant so it is in, in inside the plant and it is in between the plants okay so plant tie-in is in between the plants and inside the plant we call it skid tie-ins so here there is a photo i have pasted for the skid tie-ins where you can see the elevations and everything need to be considered if there is a plant let's say uh, this is a pipe rack okay in the pipe rack there are many pipes one two three four five six pipes and it will be connected to another one plant okay so what will happen you need to take care of the elevation and everything and i have to consider the material which is the existing pipe as okay then you have to find out a strong connection okay by design calculations so that it will sustain the connecting point so this is plant tie-in and with, when it is coming a skid tie-in in between the skids let's say one existing skid is there and another one uh, connection will be made with that then we have to do similar uh, activities similar uh, inspections okay and we have to find out for whatever the material is used for the existing one should come, should be same as the new installed uh, pipe and everything and uh, uh, the safety measures must be considered always okay so this is the difference between plant tie-in and skid tie-in so benefits of piping tie-in connection a tie-in point is a piping or pipeline is a point where the pipeline is closed for further expansion or for connection with an existing pipeline tie-in points are usually located at the end of the plant battery limit future expansions usually the designer had made in taking consideration that in future if some plant will come they can sell some of their products let's say a, comp a, a project uh, they are using steam okay but the steam they cannot uh, uh, use it uh, they cannot sell it due to some issues or uh, transport issue or something so they will make some tie-in points of the steam okay they will sell as much as they can and the rest of the steams was wasted at the beginning those tie-in points will be there in future expansion if any plant will come they can do the connection tie-in connection with the nearby plants and they can sell their steam this is just an example i give you tie-in points are usually located at the end of the battery uh, plant battery limit either on the pipe rack or the slipper or at the individual equipment ends. this tie-in is made along with pa and ig preparation considering the future need of the project so as i explained this is a requirement we made it uh, uh, considering the future uh, requirement or future, <coughs> future expansion of the plant so that's all friends i hope you like the video and if you like it you please uh, comment subscribe to this channel and uh, let me know if you need more detail on time joints thank you very much